I will be the people's president because I know this is the people's government. You look at Washington today, and too many of the politicians think that they are different from us, that they are more powerful than us, that the rules don't apply to them. And we have to change that and take back a, a, our government and make them understand they are the servants of the people and not our masters. I have a specific reform agenda for Washington to achieve that. First. Right now, there are over 400 former members of the House and Senate, former members of Congress from both parties who are registered lobbyists. I think that is completely wrong. I would pass a law saying you serve one day in Congress in the House or Senate, there is a lifetime ban on your ever being a lobbyist in Washington, D.C. You complete your career, we want you to go home and not peddle influence in Washington. Second thing I would do is change the way Congress operates on, a, for example, like when they passed Obamacare, a bad law that they made apply to every single family in every community in every state in America except they exempted themselves and they exempted their staffs. Congress passes a law that applies to the American people and it will apply to every member of Congress and their st staffs equally as well. No special rules for those holding political office. I would throw out the lobbyist-driven, lawyer-written, incomprehensible tax law that serves the interest of the powerful and not the people. Right now, there are over $1 trillion a year in exemptions and credits and carve-outs and loopholes that benefit the connected and the powerful in Washington. Get rid of those loopholes and exemptions. Lower the rates for all of us. Make people pay their fair share but lower rates. And we would expand our economy, create jobs and opportunity, and give the people of this country the chance to build the future as we as Americans are entitled to have. In a completely different realm, to be the people's president, you have to know that the most important obligation of government is to provide for the safety and security of the American people. We are not doing that right now. I was governor of New York on September 11th. I saw the horrible consequences of people thinking that because radical Islam was thousands of miles and an ocean away that it didn't pose a threat to us here. It did then and it does now. We cannot look the other way and allow incidents like what almost happened in Garland, Garland Texas to happen across this country. And we cannot allow another attack like September 11th. We have to do more to rebuild our military, to support the Kurdish fighters and the Sunni fighters on our side on the ground against ISIS. And and if need be, I would send American strike force forces to destroy their training camps and recruitment centers so we can attack them there before they can attack us here. No trillion dollar nation building, no 10 year war, simple quick strikes to protect us here. We protect the American people. We reform the way Washington operates so that it operates in the people's interest and not the politicians and the powerful's interest. We lower the tax burden on the American people and expand economic opportunity. And I guarantee you, the 21st century is going to be the greatest century America has ever known. And your future and the American people's future will see the dreams you have for yourself and your families come true. God bless you and God bless this great country.